Hello everybody and welcome to another bit of Planet Zoo um, animal speculation. So today we're doing Avery Bird specifically. I've had a few requests over the last few months since my exhibit animal speculation back after the um, Arid Animal Pack released. So um, I thought I'd finally get around to it and do this because there are many birds that can be added into Planet Zoo. Many of which you will see in this video that are probably on your wish list. If I miss any, be sure to comment them down below because I'll certainly look them up and see what they have in store. But let's not waste any more time and get straight into it. So first up we have the eagles, the most powerful birds of prey. So I'm just going to list through, go just run through these, um, not bother really telling you too much about them, but um, you'll see from their appearances whether they are in store for you. So first of all, we have the iconic bald eagle, the golden eagle, the harpy eagle, the stellar sea eagle, the Philippine monkey eating eagle, the Australian wedge-tailed eagle, the and the African fish eagle. I believe that's the last one. Now we have the peregrine falcon. Of course, I couldn't really think of many other falcons I really wanted in the game, but peregrine falcon is, of course, at the top of the list, being the fastest animal on the planet. Harris hawk is my personal um, pick for a hawk species. I know there's kestrels, but Harris's hawks just are much more unique in the regard that they hunt in packs. Of course, that wouldn't really be executed in game, but it's still one factor that I hold to the Harris's Hawks merit. Um, we also have the Osprey, which is another species of hawk, but it catches fish. And um, there are ver various facilities around the world that do house Ospreys. And seeing that sort of fishing behavior would be fantastic for Planet Zoo. Um, now onto the owls, the silent flies of the night. So we have the Arctic snowy owl, the Eurasian eagle owl, the barn owl, the great horned owl, the spectacled owl, and the burrowing owl. Those are my owls. Like I'm sure there's there's tons more. Trust me, but those are my personal picks. On to vultures. Now there's various different vultures to get through. So first of all, we have the Eurasian griffin vulture, the Egyptian vulture, the king vulture, lappet faced vulture, white-backed vulture, turkey vulture, black vulture, cenaris vulture, Rupel's griffin vulture, the highest flying bird in the world, and the white-headed vulture um, with the pink face and red beak there. Then we have the California condor, an American conservation success story, and his cousin, the Andean condor of South America, both of which are the largest birds of prey. On to the macaws, we have the scarlet macaw, the hyacinth macaw, blue and yellow macaw, military macaw, green wing macaw, blue throated macaw, and the great green macaw, all of which would make fantastic additions. Um, onto the cockatoos, so we have the sulfur crested cockatoo, the major Mitchell's cockatoo, the red tailed black cockatoo, the galah, and the palm cockatoo. Um, conyers and Amazons, so we've got the sun conyer, an endangered species of Bolivia, I believe. 
um, and the yellow naped Amazon and yellow headed Amazon parrots. Um, some other parrots that we could see are the African grey parrot, the New Zealand kia, the Alexandrine parakeet, the hawk headed parrot, the Australian king parrot, the eclectus parrot, and the cockatiel, North Island kaka, red lorry, um, black calf lorry, the Fisker's lovebird, the crimson rosella, and the budrigar as well as the hardy survivor of Australia's deserts. And lastly, the rainbow lorikeet. Um, now onto the toucans. We have the toko toucan, the by far the most famous, the keelbilled toucan, the collared arasari, and the northern emerald toucanet. On to my favourite group of birds, the hornbills, with my particular favourite being this, the great Indian hornbill, then with the rhinoceros hornbill, Vonda Deccan's hornbill, trumpeter hornbill, wrinkled hornbill, and the knobbed hornbill. On to the kingfishers, a very unique group of birds. We have the laughing kookaburra, one of Australia's most iconic birds, its cousin, the blue winged kookaburra, the common kingfisher, the pied kingfisher, green kingfisher, Guam kingfisher, which is actually extinct in the wild, unfortunately, um, the buff breasted paradise kingfisher, and the black backed dwarf kingfisher, very brightly coloured. Um, onto the pigeons and doves, we have the Victoria crown pigeon, the Nicobar pigeon, apparently the dodo's closest living relative, the Luzon bleeding heart, the diamond dove, the Wampu fruit dove, the pink neck green pigeon, and the Namakwa dove. Onto the hummingbirds, we have the ruby throated hummingbird, Anna's hummingbird, Alan's hummingbird, the green breasted mango, the Costas hummingbird, and the white neck Jacobin, or Jacobin. Um, I would love to include species like the swordbill and magnificent spatula tail. Um, those are two other great species to have. Um, onto some seabirds, we have the Atlantic puffin, which I discussed in the coastal animal pack segment of one of my previous videos. Um, the tufted puffin, the thick billed myrrh, the Inca tern, and the laughing gull. Um, onto a few diving birds, we have the, the great cormorant, the little pied cormorant, the Australian pied cormorant, the anhinga, the double crested cormorant, the guanai cormorant, and the neotropic cormorant, all of which would make fantastic additions and diversify the, the amount of birds that would be diving into the water. On to one of my other favourite groups of birds, the birds of paradise of Papua New Guinea. So first of all, we have the greater bird of paradise, the greater Lafarina, or the superb bird of paradise, which will form a giant smiley face. Um, in its courtship displays, the magnificent bird of paradise, the king bird of paradise, the red bird of paradise, the um, Wilson's bird of paradise, the king of Saxony bird of paradise with those beautiful long feathers, the 12 wired bird of paradise, the Ragiana bird of paradise, black sickle bill, magnificent rifle bird, and the western parotia all of which would be amazing to have in Planet Zoo with all their unique um, dance routines and courtship um, displays, all of which would really diversify the aviaries. On to a couple of starlings, we have the superb starling, the golden-breasted starling, the Hildebrandt starling, and I believe that's it. <laughs> that's all my starlings. Um, Finches, we have the Gouldian finch, zebra finch, java sparrow, and the blue faced parrot finch. For a few corvines, we have the common raven, the Hawaiian crow, which I believe is now is also extinct in the wild, and the New Caledonian crow. 
few Taracos. We have the Great Blue Taraco, Red Crested Taraco, the Violet or Violaceous Taraco, the Livingstones Taraco, and the Guinea Taraco. A few Spoonbills. We have the iconic Roseate Spoonbill, the African Spoonbill, Eurasian Spoonbill, and the Australian Royal Spoonbill. Onto a few Ibis. The Scarlet Ibis being the most defined of all of them. The African Sacred Ibis. Glossy Ibis. Northern Bald Ibis or Waldraff Ibis. The Hadada Ibis and the American White Ibis. Onto a plethora of different ducks. We have the Mandarin Duck. The Bufflehead. The Ruddy Duck. Hooded Maganza. Harlequin Duck. The canvas back, the plumed whistling duck of Australia, the white faced whistling duck of Africa and South America, the yellow billed duck, the black bellied whistling duck, the fulvous whistling duck, the mallard, the wood duck, the common ida, and the king ida. And onto a couple of minnows, we have the barley minnow. Or miner, the black winged miner, the common hill miner, which has a very striking set of coloration there, and the crested miner. A few bee eaters too the European bee eater, the southern carmine bee eater, and the white fronted bee eater. A few herons we have the great blue heron, the kokoi heron, the boat billed heron, and the green heron. Couple of curacaos, the bare-faced curacao, razor-billed curacao, and the blue-faced curacao. Just a pair of oropendolas, the green oropendola, the and the crested oropendola. Uh, a couple of rollers too. Yeah, it's just a lot of birds to get through, and, and so much to diversify the aviaries with. There's so much potential here. The blue-bellied roller the lilac-breasted roller, and the European roller. Some barbets. We have the bearded barbet, the scarlet-crowned barbet, gilded barbet, and the brown-headed barbet. Some mannequins, another type of bird that would really um, take to the dance floor. We have the swallow-tailed mannequin, or blue mannequin, and the red-capped mannequin. Now on to the birds that um, were sitting in, on their own in this case. We have the pileated woodpecker, uh, uh, the magpie goose, I, I mean it could classify as a habitat bird, uh, uh, the wattled jacana, um, the, the white-necked rockfowl, they used to be kept in captivity, not so much anymore, I don't think at all anymore, but are still a very unique and ancient bird species of the Congo. The black headed weaver bird, um, the Asian fairy bluebird, the masked lapwing. I've had my run ins with these guys in, in Australia. They swoop you and have spurs under their wings, giving them their other name, the spur wings plover. The red legged seri ema, the living relative of the extinct terror birds, also could really work as a habitat animal as well. The Himalayan monal, again, a bird that could work as a habitat species. Um, the Palestine sunbird. The Eurasian hoopoe. The Andean cock of the rock. The tawny frogmouth. Oh, this guy looks <laughs> happy to be here, doesn't he? Um, the satin bowerbird. The flame bowerbird. The resplendent Quetzal, the Hammercop, the Australian Magpie, Regent Honey Eater, Sun Bittern, Tui, Baltimore Oriole, Blue Jay, Northern Carnival, and finally the Huatzin. And yeah, that was just a 
Ooh, bro, that's a lot of birds. Over a hundred easily. I was not counting there, but that is basically giving you the wide range of different bird species that can be added to Planet Zoo. Um, if Frontiers um, so chose to do so. I know I could have included the pelicans in there um, and maybe a couple of geese and swans, but um, overall, that is a lot of birds to get through and would certainly fill aviaries with a lot of life. There's so much potential there, it's crazy to, to see how much there actually is. From eagles to flatsins to macaws, hummingbirds, so many. But, um, okay, so yeah, if you have a list of birds, I would like you to cut it down to 10. Um, not do the insane amount of birds that I did. There were just so many cool ones. Like, birds are so wanted for Planet Zoo just because of how interesting and unique all of them are. They have, they all have their own unique features, behaviors. Um, different appearances, they're all so cool. And an ever more present reason to want them in Planet Zoo. But I think that's all from me now. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.